Mass fish farming has only been around for the past 65 years. Prior to that, fish were wild caught with line and pole or boats with a netting system. It wasn't until the 1950s that fish farming was able to successfully take off. In 2013, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration reported that in the U.S. there were 9.8 billion pounds of fish caught. This amount of fish is valued at $5.5 billion. They also report 653 million pounds of fish farmed at a value of $1.4 billion. Aquaculture in the U.S. has been on the rise in recent years. It grew 5% per year from 2008 to 2013. Current farming methods involve open ocean net cages and inland ponds. The open ocean net cages are often placed in bays relatively close to the shore. Both methods are permanently fixed which leads to environmental concerns. Spoiling a public water area, transmitting disease to wild fish, discharging antibiotics and or chemicals into environment, releasing high concentrations of fish, waste, and excess food which collects at the bottom of the bay causing contamination. Despite this, aquaculture is still a very lucrative business and is continually developing new technologies. A new technology is needed because currently fish farms are overcrowded which causes the environmental issues. The only solution is to go further offshore. Being offshore has harsher conditions that a traditional fish farm would not withstand. So, a geodesic sphere known as an aquapod was created to hold up to these conditions. This method allows the pod to move with the ocean, which allows the ocean to absorb fish farming byproducts, which improves water quality. The pod is also predator proof and is the least surface area for the volume inside. An added benefit to using an aquapod is it creates its own artificial reef. Though this sphere is new and may not be a solution for every case, it does successfully disperse damaging fish farm waste which improves the environment.